Hi guys, welcome back to Natural Learning. Um, so I'm doing a bit of a different kind of video today. So um, as you know, everyone's in lockdown all over the world. So what my idea was, a lot of people I know should be away. A lot of people should be on holiday. And I've been fortunate enough to go away a lot. And a lot of what I do when I'm away is nature-based, animal-based. Um, so I've been very fortunate to be here, there and everywhere experiencing all sorts of things with all sorts of animals um, so I thought because we can't get away I should relive some of these moments with you guys so that you guys can relive them with me so it's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a break during all this lockdown stuff we can imagine being away we can we could talk about some of the cool things that I've done and the cool places I've been so um, Without any further ado, let's crack open a beer and get on with this. So, one of the most recent places I've been was at the south of Portugal in the Algarve. Now, I was actually going there just for a holiday. I was fortunate enough for my uncle to take me and some of the members of our family away. This lovely, lovely place in the Algarve. A private beach, we had our own pool and things like that. It was amazing. And he's quite a keen bird watcher, and as has it, so am I. Throughout this, I'm gonna spot some photos here and there where I've actually been out with my camera and taken pictures. So we're both pretty keen bird watchers. We would get up at half five, six, best we could every morning, depends what we were doing the night before. And um, to get up and see the see what we could while everything was doing its morning chorus which is fantastic. One of the birds I really wanted to see while I was out there, which spans way across the Mediterranean, <clears throat> excuse me, spans spans across Mediterranean, mainly around Spain, Portugal area, was a bird called a hoopoe. Don't know if I've got a photo of it, but it's this gorgeous bird with a long curvy down beak and the frills on its head. Um, it's stunning, stunning and lucky enough the estate we were staying on had a golf course and the hoopoos loved the golf course. So I got to see I got to see quite a few of those, which made my holiday immediately. I saw them almost straight away. That was fantastic. But my uncle actually got in this guide. This guy from Holland came down to came down to meet us in the Algarve. And he took us out. It was like he knew the place like the back of his hand. It was unbelievable. And he took us out very early in the morning so that we could see different birds and spot different birds he knew exactly what to look for whereas we we didn't we weren't so clued up so one of the first things oh buzzy thing around me one of the first things i saw was a little owl boba don't eat the bee bob a big one's got a thing for eating bees um it's one of the first things i saw was a little owl which i've always wanted to see in this country but i've never been fortunate enough to do i should have a picture of the little owl up on the screen um, um yeah i've never been fortunate enough to see a little owl in the uk i've actually i've only had a glimpse of one as it was flying away and i was absolutely gutted so i found we found one as we were driving past just sat sat on a fence post um just 15 meters away from the car just staring straight at us i was in awe i was so happy um so they're probably they look a little bit like tawny owls they're about that big gorgeous gorgeous birds and that was lovely to see them and then another one of the first things we saw we saw these at a distance these must have been 150 200 meters away these are great bustards if you don't know what these are i don't think i got a good photo of them because they're so far away but think of think of a turkey times its size by five there's a big turkey and it's it's kind of like that kind of long neck, stocky body, um, a similar body shape. It's less colourful than a turkey, but these birds can these birds fly, and they've got massive, massive wingspans. But that was fantastic to see because they're they're quite rare. Um, so I was very very happy to see them. And one of the more colourful birds I saw was the bee eaters. Now these birds migrate from Africa to the Algarve and things like that during the summer during the spring summer time to breed. That's fantastic to see them. I should have a photo of that up there. They were stunning birds. There was a whole flock of them 
we pulled up under these trees and there were just loads of them. It must have been close to 50 over our heads all flying around and catching the bees. It was, that was awesome to see. But the highlight of going bird watching, definitely, and I don't have a photo of this, I'm absolutely gutted, it flew away before I got a chance to get the camera out. We saw a step eagle. And this was only the second ever recorded step eagle in Portugal. It was amazing. These birds are normally found in the Middle East kind of area. So your Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, things like that. That's where they're normally found. So to have one found in Portugal, and it was definitely, definitely a step eagle. We had our guides out and we had our, our professional guide with us as well. And that was awesome to see. So when that gets published, hopefully um, my name will be in the paper that I saw the second ever Step Eagle. And fingers crossed, more and more get seen. And it's classed as a species that's seen across Portugal. So um, that was my trip to Portugal, my bird watching trip. Hopefully got a few photos in there as well. I've just realised that I've now been talking for six minutes. So rather than bore you with another however many trips I've got. I'm going to end this video here with the dog going nuts and I'll do the others in separate videos. I might do one video per trip. I'm not sure. It depends how long it takes me to do them. I might have a couple in one. But I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I really enjoy reliving this and I'm going to enjoy editing and digging up the photos. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. That would be really appreciated. And over half of you watching aren't subscribed. It's gone down from 80%, which is fantastic. But please, 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 if you like this or you like any of my previous videos, which you can go back and watch, um, just subscribe to the channel. That pillow's wet. Just subscribe to the channel, and I really, really hope you enjoy it. Leave a like, comment, let me know if you like this kind of thing, and I'll move on to the next thing in the next video. All right, cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.